Got a bunch of stuff to show you today. First off, we're headed to the Zaw shop. Today's the day we get the straight pipes done on the M5. And right now we're cruising along like at 60, 61. I forget if you can see that or not. In seventh gear. The drone's not too bad. With these flow masters, they're known for drone. Known for it. Um, but this car always did seem like whenever you floor it on the highway, at higher RPMs, it kind of, the sound kind of falls out. And it's not supposed to be that way at all. It's supposed to get louder as the higher RPMs go. But the flow masters, you can kind of tell they can't handle the power. And these mufflers, these series 50 or the single chambers have been around for since I've been a little kid. And there always was stipulation on they cost power. And you could you could tell there's a flow problem at higher RPM. So we're gonna get those taken off. We got the brand new tips in the back seat there. And of course the laptop. I think I forgot to put it in here. I'll be walking back. We shouldn't need the laptops today, hopefully. We got the little uh, creator scanner just to reset stuff. Even though on that on this car, that won't tell us the proper codes. We've already proven that over and over. So let's go to the Zaw shop. Let's get this done. Uh, go back home, and I got some more stuff to show you guys. So we're just, just let the muffler shop. You probably saw the pictures by now. Um, we can't really film there, so I just snapped as many pictures as I could as we we're doing it. Real cool dude. Uh, no problems at all. Made everything look pretty good. I was the one to line it up for him to make sure if I wasn't happy with it, it's my fault. <laughs> and I wanted it that way. So we got everything pretty straight on it. The end result here, we'll, we'll give you some revs here when we get back home. Uh, there's almost no drone anymore. It's far quieter at low RPMs than what it was with those Flowmasters on it. The Flowmasters are so droney, so not, they weren't the sound the car should have, right? And at high RPMs now, you can tell that it definitely opened up a lot at the top end. Just as I thought the situation was, the Flowmasters were restricting the power. And those are probably fine on two or three or four horsepower cars. Once you get this much, it's it just can't flow it. So everything's really good right now. We'll be home here in a minute and we'll do some res for you guys. All right, boys. So we got some little, little driving here. Let me get past this. sounds. I got the windows down. I hope you can hear me. Turn that off. Yeah, be careful though. There's people... different car what you think it is. It looks different on video. Why are you guys saying up? Oh, I was 
was driving that car, I'd hold it to the floor all the time. I bet you right now you would not. You'd be shitting your little pants for you knew it. So you can definitely see that's like sounds tremendously better it's kind of getting kind of dirty they space all the tips everything turned out pretty good now i do know for a fact somebody is telling me we set these tips that they're i don't even want to touch it it's like raging hot they're a finger length out and all the videos i've seen they said as it warms up they're going to come out like an inch and they did that's exactly how much they came out and as it cools back off, they'll go back in, just kind of the way it is. Uh, but that's kind of bizarre. I think it looks really good. We still get the paint work down this thing. FedEx didn't come pick that up. That's cute. That's real cute. What I want to show you guys also, holy crap, it's hot in this place, but not for long. Look what we got. Oh, hell. Got some heat and AC for the shop. We got the Mr. Cool 24,000 BTU mini split. You can see here, it's damn near up to my waist. It's a pretty big unit. Um, comes with a hose. If you're not familiar with these, we'll be doing a video in the future on this. This is the head that goes inside. That's the uh, unit that goes outside. The condenser is a unit. Condenser slash heat pump. And then the hoses. Everything's pre-charged. Everything's ready to go. Essentially, all we got to do is run a 220 line down and punch through the wall. And plug it all up but first we got to deal with some little bit of wiring we dealt with a bunch of it and yesterday we got those two lights in these so we got four of the big lights in and that made the light so so much better so much more even in here and uh it's just gonna be so much better for everything all in general a lot of you guys say oh you gotta put six or eight in there no these are 240 watt halo led lights and we don't need six of them. I promise you that. I'm gonna need cataract surgery if I get six of them. We'll be getting sunburn working on cars. Uh, so yeah, we got more insulation in the Sequoia. So we're, the shop's coming along pretty quick and just in time for the big heat, the big summer heat to come in. We keep this place cool. We keep working on cars, keep making videos. That's gonna be it for today's video. The car's done. So now we can finally do maybe that launch control video that we wanted to push out and show you guys that. All right. Thanks for watching, have a good day. We'll see you later.